Right, um, hello, this is just a quick video um, showing you how to combine a character's mesh to the rig within uh, the mesh. Um, it's quite simple to do, there's not a lot of steps to it and afterwards you don't really have to tweak it too much um, provided your geometry is nice and clean and uh, your rig's good so you wouldn't, you wouldn't really have to do any weight painting as such which is always nice. Um, the old bind skin is, you'll take the spine or the root of your rig I should say rather and then we'll select the mesh and then we combine the two essentially and that's all there is to it really so this is just a very generic humanoid character um, got a basic rig in the hands and legs and we shall now bind the skin uh, I'll grab my hierarchy that I've already got minimised um, so we'll pick the, the root of the rig first and then we'll shift select our character. Uh, you don't have to do this in the hierarchy, you can do it in the 3D viewport if you wish to. Uh, then in your animation subset go to skin, bind skin and you want to make sure you do a smooth bind. Just ignore these two, it's a smooth bind you want to do. And I think the default settings for a smooth bind are 5. Uh, I'll just check. Yeah it's 5. But um, I think for this character um, it's very simple, I think 3 is probably enough. Um, you shouldn't have to go too high, uh, but it deplen depends on the complexity of your character. So we'll just do 3 and we'll hit bind skin. Uh, and I'll minimise my hierarchy so that's not the way. So if we grab one of our IK handles, um, grab the move tool and we shall see that our mesh now moves nicely uh, following the rig within the arm. and we should check the legs yep everything seems to work so that's all there is to it to bind in a very simple character to um, the rig within it uh, afterwards if you had any problems with it deforming uh, you would jump into the weight painting which you can find in the animation tab and then this symbol here and that's it